We headed to the Madison River with great anticipation, and I skillfully backed the boat down the ramp. How am I do it? Steve, you gotta give me some better directions than that. Okay. Floating the upper Madison today from uh, Palisades to a uh, lower launch access point. And uh, the river's pretty low this year, so we're probably gonna be bumping lots of rocks, but we're trying to find the channel. And uh, hopefully, lots of salmon flies today. Yeah, I think that looks like a good spot. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe right in that seam. Looks like a nice calm spot for a trout to lie. Oh, good heavens, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's nice. a good one. It nice. is a good fish. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right, this is what we're after here. On the Madison! A oh, beautiful trout lost. That was a rainbow, wasn't it? Yeah, a beautiful rainbow. Golly. Well, we finally found one of these big salmon flies. And as you can see, <laughs> they are monstrous flies. And uh, there's a little orange body. If I could show it to you, it doesn't want me to. <laughs> they freak me out just a little bit. So I'm not going to show you the orange body, but that is cool. Yeah, I know. I think it's probably only about 12 or 13. Steve hooked into the first fish of the trip from the bank. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice trout. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right. Oh, yeah, that is. That's a nice trout. Yeah, really? You were calling that small? <laughs> Yeah, look at the spots on that baby. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, it was cool. It just you can see the nice inside seam. Actually, Ladin called it. Said it looked really good, so I went up there, and uh, about the third cast, just past that uh, water air waterfall area, he hit. Nice job. Yeah. That's a fish. Got him. Got one. Ta, God, where are you going, fish? Whoa. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty intense going along in this fast water. You're casting into the right spot, and when that fish hits, it's exciting. That was awesome. <laughs> Finally got one of them buggers out of there. It's a nice fish. I jumped out of the boat and netted Steve's fish. Boy, that's a nice bow. Wow, that is iridescent, beautiful. Yeah, mm. Beautiful fish here in the Madison River. Beautiful yes, they are. They are very nice, fat, healthy fish. Yeah. Beautiful Madison rainbow. There he goes. We worked hard for that fish. All morning long, we've been drifting about seven miles of river, Back rowing, up. fishing. Yep, it's yeah. all hard work. But it was a great fish. It was. Worthwhile. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So let's get some more. Let's do it. Well, Steve, obviously we've uh, seen a lot of salmon fly. If you could see, you could look up in these bushes here. And uh, these uh, salmon flies are actually blowing off into yeah. the water. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. It's hard. <laughs> Oh, good heavens! Steve headed in to anchor the boat. Yeah, unwrap it. If you can, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's a good fish. It's a big brown. I saw it. There it is right below you. Look at that. Goodness. All right, I was rowing the boat, so I didn't see the fish take Laden's fly. And I thought he only had a six incher because usually when he gets a big fish, he's so much more excited about it. So I didn't know it was a big fish until I saw it down below trying to net it. 
I'm not excited. <laughs> the heck I'm not excited, I'm just scared. Because I saw it. Oh, look at it, look, look at him go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Madison River Brown. Oh, baby. Fat. Yes, it is. Madison River Brown. <laughs> oh, my Not goodness. Bad. Woo. Yes. On the salmon fly. On the salmon fly. We're here in the Madison River. Ooh. Famous fishery, big brown trout, catching browns. Big stone fly just swam. And look at the scenery we're looking at. Yep. Check those mountains out. We haven't really been looking up because no. we're so focused on fishing. Yeah, look fishing and this crazy river. And it's just, everything's. I gotta admit, everything's a lot more beautiful if you catch a fish like that. Awesome, awesome. Uh, some people like to put parrots on their shoulder. Unfortunately, I've got a pet salmon fly and it's crawling up my neck. Ah, these are these stone flies. They're going, they're, they're hatching pretty well around here. That's where we're catching these fish on. What we're using on the Madison today is just a five weight rod uh, floating line. And we're using these orange salmon flies. We've been seeing a lot of these salmon flies flying around. And we're, we're thinking that trout would probably want a big meal. So we're using this. And this is connected to a 2X tippet, which is pretty hefty tippet. But these are big fish in a bouldery river. And that's uh, definitely working. If you fish the Madison, home base should be the town of Venice. It has everything you need, and it's just minutes away from the river. Meanwhile, back on the Madison, we were heading down river into promising waters. Steve, try that seam over there, man. That looks great. Got him. Oh, it's a big brown. Give me the jump. Good job, Steve. Thanks. Good rowing. This fish was a really good fighter, and Ladin had to row all the way across the river so we could land it in a safe place. I dropped the anchor, grabbed the net, and prepared to land the fish. The fish zoomed to the other side of the boat. That's not a good thing. Steve finally managed to get the large Madison Brown into the net. Nice. That's a gorgeous nice job. fish. Should be good. Yeah. Steve prepared to release the beautiful brown trout. Nice brown trout. Beautiful fish. Awesome. Yep. Give him a little bit of reviving. There he goes. <sighs> yes. Okay, Woo, nice. salmon flies, boy. Salmon flies. I had just a little bit before I caught that fish, I had a big salmon fly, you know, fly from the air and land on my shoulder. Oh, that's and then so cool. Just a little bit after that. Awesome. Boom, hit it. Awesome. It's a good take. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. It's real tempting to want to reposition your fly a lot, but one thing that we we highly advocate is when you make a cast, especially out of the drift boat, let it ride. You know, this is such a big river, you really never know where these fish are gonna be hanging. Typically on drop off ledges or, or uh, depth changes, things like that. But you know, the more that you're casting, 
uh, the more more river miles that you're that you're missing. And because Mike's doing such a good job rowing, you know, I don't have to pick this up again for a while. There should be something right. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Now, whoa. Hello. PBR down. That was funny. What happened? I saw him wake out on it when I went to mend it. Oh, wow. We got a, we got a cluster here. And uh, so he waked out on it, looked at it. Came back and looked at it again, and so I threw it in there and just moved it nice and slow, just like I was going to mend. And that fish just <laughs> climbed all over it. He tried to eat the dry, and then he's like, yeah, I'll just grab the nymph. Oh yeah, that's a nice bow too. <laughs> Dude, that was the craziest thing I've seen in a long, long time. To come out and wake on that dry fly and then turn around and grab that nymph just like so. Wow, beauty. So maybe, maybe swinging soft tackles would be the thing we'll do from here on out. For the release, let him get his gills going again and he'll tell you when he's ready. There really is no need to pump fish back and forth. Cool. Right on. What do you think, lad? That looks like a pretty nice spot right over just under the willow right there. Yep, perfect. Good cast. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's a good one. It's a good fish. Wow, that was fun. Yeah, that was so exciting. I threw that dry right in this little seam, and that brown trout came after that fly, and boom, set the hook. And finally, this time, the fish stuck. I'll try to get him around the outside. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was fun the way he took that thing. He's trying. Yeah, go for it. Get him out of there. Yeah, we pulled in the anchor once to try to land this fish, but the fish took off around the corner into some brush. So we immediately pulled the anchor and chased it downstream. You want me to try to anchor? Yeah, try to anchor again. It's a nice, another nice, beautiful big brown. Steve rowed us to shore and then dropped anchor. We both jumped out of the boat in hot pursuit of the big brown. Trying to get out and maintain some pressure on this fish here. Gosh, what a fighter. It's just been dogging, just hanging down right there. Yeah. Big brownie. Yep. This has got to be getting fairly tired, I would think. Oh. Oh, whoo, wow, what a gorgeous fish. Wow. Nice job. Yeah, it's bigger, fatter than the one this oh, morning. Gorgeous. Yes. Oh, he took it. That was fun. Oh, Beautiful fish. Wow. Man, you just work these banks right down here, and you're not more than about four feet from shore. Yep. And uh, they come up and they just porpoise on that thing. It's so much fun. These salmon flies are so much fun to fish with. And uh, we'll show, let's show them what we have okay. here. This is the salmon fly we're using. It's a little bit different. Uh, these salmon flies are orange bodied, but this just gives this fish uh, something different to look at. The Madison's a very heavily fished river. 
and this fly right here just changes it up a little bit and it seems to be working just fine. Okay, folks, if you're new to drift boating, um, then you really wanna take some time before you get to a busy launch site to practice backing up. You know, do it several times, get the technique down so you're going straight into the launch so you don't back up a bunch of people and embarrass yourself. The Madison is known for its caddisfly hatches. And look at this, incredible. And believe it or not, we're not even fishing with these bugs. We're fishing with salmon flies because they're bigger and the fish like them. But look at this. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Steve, try that seam right there. That's a good seam. Awesome. We had just gotten to the other side of the river. First cast in there. As soon as the fly hit the water, this trout slammed on it. Got him. Oh, yeah. Got him. Big one. Okay. Whoa. Shoot. Where? Where is he? Okay. Nice work, Len. It is a big fish. Might jump, he might jump. And it was crazy. The fish was going all around the boat. I thought I was wrapped around the anchor, or almost got around the camera. I'm stuck on something over here. Ah, I'm stuck, my, my line is stuck. Okay, okay. crazy fight. That was crazy. I think our fly line got wrapped around everything and still managed to get on shore here and try and fight this thing. Wow, oh, it's huge. Holy smokes. Don't let it get down I'm gonna have to, but so? well no. I mean I don't know. It's the biggest fish yet. It's a big it's fish. Huge. It's a big fish. It is definitely a big fish. Oh boy. He's not gonna like it. No. Steve managed to work the big brown close. And the celebration ensued. You got yourself a fish. Yes. You got yourself a fish. Yes. Nice. Yes. And that was out in a little bit of that bee water. It was about uh, 10 feet from shore. And uh, it hit as soon as the fly hit the water. Boom, that trout was on it. Wow. That was awesome. A fish. Yep, Man. that was awesome. Awesome. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Nice. Wow. Wow. That was something else. I tell you what, this has been amazing. <laughs> yeah, these browns are just fantastic here in this river. I mean, they're just mongo fish, and we haven't caught a lot of them. Right. Well, we missed a lot. Yep. And the ones we have caught are just fantastic quality fish. Big fish, definitely. All the browns have been big fish. Yeah, and then when you catch them in a place like this, I mean, look at this. It's Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous Montana, Madison River. Can't ask for anything more than this right now. <laughs> yep. Well, Steve, it was a great day today. Floated this beautiful Madison River in Montana. Some great brown trout. It was so much fun. Loved it. Well, folks, please join us next week on Fishing with Latin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Latin. Because we're having fun catching fish.